Good morning. The voltage current relationship for a filament bulb is very similar to the voltage current relationship experiment for a metallic conductor, only you have a filament bulb placed in the circuit instead of the metallic conductor. The voltmeter will measure the voltage between the ends of the filament bulb, and again, a nanometer will measure the current flowing through the filament bulb. The voltage between the ends of the filament bulb is varied or changed by moving the slider on the rheostat. So the procedure for the experiment is very simple. Measure the voltage between the ends of the filament bulb with the voltmeter. Measure the corresponding current through the filament bulb with the ammeter. Increase the voltage in stages and again measure several corresponding values of voltage and current. With them you plot a graph. Now the graph needs a little explanation. Because the graph is very very interesting. This time we actually put current on the y-axis. And we put the voltage on the x-axis. This is different the other way around from what we did for the metallic conductor. We always put, of course, the units, amps for current, volts for voltage. Now the shape of the graph is very, very interesting. The shape of the graph starts off, looks like it's a straight line, but as it goes up, it starts curving. Now, when we look at that graph, what can we say about it? Well, the first thing we notice is the graph is not a straight line. Not a straight line, it's through the origin, but it's definitely not a straight line through the origin. So the first thing we can say, the first conclusion we can come to is a very important one. The graph is not a straight line through the origin, therefore voltage is not directly proportional to current. There is not a directly proportional relationship between voltage and current. And what does that mean? Ohm's law is not obeyed. So, a filament bulb does not obey Ohm's law because the current voltage graph is not a straight line. They are not directly proportional. The next question is, why are they not directly proportional? Well, the main reason is, if you look at it, just watch the graph. As the voltage goes upwards, the current also goes upwards. But around here, the current starts leveling off. It's not rising in the same proportion as it did down here. Something is slowing the current down. Now, what did we say in previous videos? What do we say in pre previous classes that limits or reduces current? What do we call the quantity that reduces or limits current? Yes, that's right, we call it resistance. So what actually is happening here is, as the voltage between the ends of the bulb gets larger, so does the current, but the filament in the bulb, the little wire inside in the bulb, starts heating up, its temperature rises. And it's because of this rise in temperature, of the little wire, the little filament inside in the bulb, that its resistance rises as well. And that's the reason that we get a curved graph. So the reason we get a curved graph is because of this. This is because the resistance of the wire, the resistance of the filament is increasing as its temperature increases. Please remember, and we've come across this idea before, that if you have the resistance and temperature, if you're plotting those two things about a wire, resistance, of course, in ohms, temperature in degrees Celsius, that as the temperature of a wire increases, so does its resistance. So if the temperature of a wire goes up, its resistance will also go up. And that's the reason that this graph is curving, because the resistance of the filament is increasing as its temperature increases. And the temperature increases as the more voltage is between its ends. Now, if we just take a few exam, uh, an actual real example um, with, with numbers in it, let's just imagine that the voltage here goes one, 0, 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight volts. And the current goes zero, zero point one, zero point two, zero point three, zero point four, zero point five, zero point six, maybe even up to zero point seven amps. Now, a very typical leaving cert question would go like this. Take voltage of one volt. Take voltage of seven volts. Now, let's just do a little bit of calculation. Let's go up from one volt. Go up from one volt, draw a construction line up from one volt, hit the curve, go over. We're hitting it at 0 0.2 amps. Now let's do a construction line from 7 volts. Go up from 7 volts, hit the curve, go over, and we're hitting that at 0 0.65 amps. I'll just mark these in. That's 0 0.2 amps, that's 0 0.65 amps. Now, we're just going to do a little calculation. At this point here, what is the resistance of the filament of the little wire inside in the bulb? Well, how do we calculate resistance? Well, that's our old friend on page 61. Resistance equals voltage divided by current. Okay, what's the voltage at this point? Well, the voltage at this point is 1 volt. What's the current, the corresponding current at that point? It's 0 0.2 amps. So, let's throw that into a calculator. Got it right here. 1 divided by 0 0.2, a lot of you will not need calculator for this, the answer there is 5 ohms. So at this point here, when there's 1 volt between the ends of the filament of the bulb, the current is 0 0.2, the resistance of the wire, the filament wire, is 5 ohms. Now let's do the same calculation for up there. Well the same calculation for up there is very interesting. Resistance equals voltage divided by current. Never lose sight of the fact that that actually is a definition of resistance. Resistance equals voltage divided by current. Now, what is the, the voltage now? The voltage now is 7 volts. What's the corresponding current now? It is 0 0.65 amps. Now let's work out the resistance at this point. 7 divided by 0.65 equals... And it's giving me an answer of 10.769, 10.8 ohms. So what has happened here? What has happened between this point and this point? Well, the resistance of the little wire inside in the filament of the bulb has jumped up. Why has the resistance jumped up? Well, the answer is here. The answer is actually here in this graph. As the temperature of the wire went up, so did the resistance. So... The answer there would be this is because the resistance of the filament of the little wire, the, the resistance of the little wire inside in the bulb is increasing as its temperature increases. When I give you a question on this from the Leaving Cert 2005 paper, this kind of calculation will be necessary. Okay, now is there one more thing we can do? Well, there's probably one more thing we can do. Give a A precaution to make the experiment a little bit more accurate. Well, there's not that many here, not many outstanding ones, but there's one. Use a digital voltmeter that measures to more places of decimal. Okay, and that is the voltage current relationship for a filament bulb. Thank you.